Hey guys, happy Home Brew Wednesday. Um, during uh, last week's uh, Home Brew Wednesday, I asked a question if you guys want to see me do an all grain uh, video. And after reading the comments, I think the general consensus is yes. Um, so I'm going to do an all grain video for you. I'm actually going out to get all the, uh, the ingredients that I need tomorrow. And hopefully, if I can find the time, I will uh, be making that this weekend and shooting the video. And hopefully it doesn't turn out too long and it's not too boring. Anyway, before we start talking all grains, uh, we're going to need some additional equipment over the, uh, the standard fermenters, airlocks, and uh, hydrometers that we're currently using. If anybody out there has done a, uh, a mini mash, um, that's exactly the, uh, the procedure of an all grain, just in, uh, on a much smaller scale. But the first thing you're going to need is what they call a mash ton, and that's just a cooler that's converted. I happen to have mine right here. This is a 48 quart or 12 US gallon Coleman cooler. When I first started um, brewing my own beer, they were selling mash tons at my homebrew supply store for $130. I myself, because I tend to be cheap, I wasn't going to pay that, so I took note to, you know, the parts that they were using, you know, how it was put together, decided to change a few things, and I made mine for $30. Um, if you guys want, to, want me to do a video showing you how to make a mash ton, you know, just let me know down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to do it for you. Another thing that you're going to need is a very large pot, and it doesn't have to be stainless steel. I bought a, uh, an aluminum 8 gallon uh, stock pot from a local discount store, I think it was only about $25, and that, that works well, well for me. Now, besides the equipment, what you're going to have to find is some kind of online home brewing calculator. Uh, I know there's a lot of them out there, but the one that I use is called brewheads.com. And some of the calculators they have are uh, the alcohol content. You put in your starting gravity, you put in your finishing gravity, um, and it tells you the alcohol by weight, the alcohol by volume, how many calories are in every you know 12 ounce uh, uh, serving. Um, one of the cal another calculator it has is an IBU calculator. IBU stands for International Bitterness Units and you punch in uh, all your hop additions and the alpha acid content of the hops that you're using and the calculator will tell you how bitter your beer is going to turn out and <clears throat> uh, kind of put that in perspective for you guys on a scale from 1 to 100 uh, so you know, it makes sense a Budweiser scores 31 out of 100 and a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale ranks 71. I myself, I prefer beers between 42 and 47. Okay, I'll go as low as 40 or 39. But I just, I like a little bit of bite, but I love the hop flavor. Okay, um, one of the other calculators that you can find on this website that's uh, very useful is a strike water temperature. See, when you're doing your mash, if you want to do your mash at say 154 or 155 degrees, uh, this calculator will tell you how hot you need the strike water. Now that's the water that you put into the mash ton that you actually mix your grains into. And you have to take a temperature reading of the grains and uh, type in your target temperature and it'll say you know grain temperature 68 degrees target temperature 154 you're using two and a half gallons of water so you have to heat your strike water up to 178 degrees and <clears throat> I've uh, used uh, this website and these calculators for all 15 batches of all grain that I've done and it, it's pretty accurate it gets the, uh, the target temperature 
within a 1 to uh, 2 degree range every time. And I know last week I said doing all grains, at least for me, was more expensive than doing uh, like a pre-hopped kit. And that used to be the case. But since I started buying my hops wholesale from YakimaValleyHops.com, I was able to knock about $12.50 off the, uh, the total cost of the, uh, <coughs> sorry, of the grain bill. So now it's only about $3 more expensive than getting a kit and uh, a pound of a dry malt extract. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. The, uh, the recipe I'm going to do for you guys is a, an English bitter or an English ale style beer that I made that actually won third place in the competition. Um, and I mean, uh, to be quite honest, it, it's a very simple uh, recipe. But besides the hops, there's only three different ingredients in it, uh, different types of grains, uh, a base grain, and specialty grains. <clears throat> but the, uh, the flavors were great, and after I made that, I just pretty much stopped uh, doing different all-grain recipes. Uh, this will be the fourth time in a row that I'm making uh, that particular uh, beer, and uh, it's fantastic. In fact, I challenge you guys who are out there doing all grains, once you watch the video, I'll put the, the recipe down in the, uh, the comment section, or the annotation section, whatever, and uh, it's a, you know, a Brewing with Bill's uh, beer challenge. Take the recipe, make it, let it age for six weeks, do a beer review, give me your honest opinion. I'm pretty sure you're not going to uh, be let down. Anyway, guys, I think I've taken up enough of your time uh, this week. I don't want the video to be uh, too long. So, <clears throat> as usual, I hope your week this far has been good. I hope the rest of your week is even better. Take care of your guys. Or, uh, cheers in 17.